we're gonna have Olympians versus Eclipse. First map is gonna be Li Zhang Tower chosen by the home team Olympians. Thank you for joining us for week five of our short season here. Just six regu six weeks in the regular season. It was supposed to just be five, but we had to reschedule one for Father's Day, but we're coming near the end. Also, thank you to Fuji7005 for the follow. Appreciate that, Fuji. Sorry, I missed that. Just getting everything ready to go. Both of these teams are definitely playoff contenders right now, and this is going to be a big match to decide which one is going to be moving. Well, hold on. This match could decide who is going to get the map pick in the playoffs because we know hunters are the one seed hunters are 4-0 in the division so hunters have that down but the two seed that's up for grabs and this map has a very high chance of being the deciding factor in which of these teams will be that two seed so expect them to go all out today olympians with the new tank usually bakura on tank Guessing they're either trying to give another tank some playtime or maybe the core is not available. I'm sure the core is not going anywhere. That dude is cracked. We're gonna see Hee Hee Boink, the tank for Eclipse, coming out on the MAGA they played in their last match against Braces. They're already gonna get the tank just to sus. Larion cleaning up a little bit, taking out Swifters. Looney gonna try and get back to their spawn, but not gonna happen. The Eclipse winning that first team fight on Li Zhang. You like the season just started? Yeah, it's a short season. We're doing it on purpose because some teams might need to move up from the division. Some teams might need to move down. So we wanted a real quick season to adjust those teams real quick. <laughs> Both of these teams have one loss, and both teams have lost to the Hunters. So one of these teams will be handed their second loss of the season, and one of them is just going to be moving on to one loss. So when you look at the playoff picture, that's why this match is such a big deal. Phoenix has already been eliminated from the playoffs, and Frey says they're, they're probably not making it, because they are being rebuilt at the moment. Olympians are going to snatch this point back, though. Putting a lot of damage on Puzzle. Going to finish them off there. Three trick with a double kill. Take for Eclipse is going to find a kill and get away with murder just barely. Kazzy going to try and finish off this tank. Somehow doesn't die there. Somehow still alive. Mago Run is a very good ability. But eventually they will be caught. Olympians in control now with about 50%. Here with a cure. If we're looking at the alt situation right now, That's looks good. like Eclipse has the lead, but a lot of alts are about to come online for Olympians. We'll see if Eclipse can quickly get this fight going before Olympians alts come online, and it seems like that is exactly what they'll do. Just Looney, the only survivor for Olympians, going to try and get back, but this far is going to be shooting at him. And, and, okay, looks like they'll make it out safely. So, a good team fight from Eclipse, but they used quite a bit of alts to get that done. Right now, the only alt they have is Skylord Lucio Beat. Meanwhile, Olympians could set something up. They have a grab ready to go and a blossom. But Blakey's gonna get a bit kill in the mid fight, taking out just two sus with a nice kunai headshot there. Olympians are going to lose precious time while they wait for their cast to respawn. Now, Olympians have a lot of tools to work with. Looney's going to start off the alt party. Gets a couple. And here comes the Lucio alt to try and sustain here. They don't end up using the Reaper alt. And they're going to have no kills so far. They're going to lose this team fight. And they're going to waste the Blossom on it too. Not executed well for Olympians. Definitely a very winnable fight, but they waste three alts on a losing fight. 
now it seems like Eclipse are gonna come back and steal this first but, but so far. I think this has the potential to be a good series based on we saw both teams winning a fair amount of fights. They did spicy dirty? What you mean by that? What do you mean by that? <laughs> no mistakes. Elaborate, Penguin. Hi there. <laughs> Hello. The Bastion Hello. switch is interesting, probably for the Malga. Oh, man. Though, as someone who plays a lot of Malga, I do not consider Bastion a count. In fact, I like playing against Bastion as Malga. He has this big, juicy hitbox that you can hit with your... You can light him on fire from across the map, and then you just burn him with your other gun. It's, it's super easy. You have your run to avoid him. I don't really consider Bastion really a counter at all, but... We'll see. They're also going to match the Malga. Larion going to find Kazzy. And Eclipse going to start off similarly to how they did last map. The quick wipe here. Kazzy done with the Bastion already. Seems like we're going to switch over to the Sim. Notably, seems to be quite a few Olympian starters not playing today. Not making excuses. And maybe that's on purpose. Not sure. But this is not the full force of Olympians we're expecting. But neither is it for Eclipse. Notably, Eclipse is missing Love, which I believe is like a top... DPS on console in the entire world, so that's that's also a very big deal. So both teams not really at their full potential here, so hopefully that'll even things out a bit. Retrick getting mowed right now, taking so much damage. Just to us will find the Lucio kill, but they're gonna lose Cassie, so we're looking at a 4v4 at the moment. Larion puts in work on this Fara every single match for Eclipse. And they're gonna get a nice couple kills there to keep this objective on lockdown. How many teams are there right now? There's 15 teams. We're hoping to add five next season. That is the plan. We're going to add a Division 4 is the goal. Up to 20. Not only are they in control of the point, but Eclipse in control of the alt economy too. I can tell they want to drop this alt here. We're probably going to see it. Oh my gosh, it's juicy. Holy cow. This map is probably about to be over. Olympians probably one more chance to touch. Got two support alts and they're gonna have a cast alt. But they might not even get the opportunity to touch. The point gonna use this cage to keep them right where they want them. And the point will tick down. Eclipse is going to take this map. We'll see where Olympians want to go. They get the next map pick. song in the playlist for real for real i used to play rocket league a lot and that was probably the only song from a video game i've ever added to my real actual playlist was that one was the first one i added when i made this playlist too because i got so excited king spicy what's your favorite player from this rogue energy stuff yeah so they sent me a box with quite a few flavors not all of them right so i can't speak to all of them but my favorite one of the ones I tried was definitely the gummy bear one. It's the one actually shown in the bottom. 
area. The, what's it called? Gummy candy, I think? That was fire. He might just be. What I really liked about it, and I know, hashtag ad, right? I really liked was how well it dissolved. I feel like when I'm drinking G Fuel, it's constantly like going back into the powder and I have to shake the cup. But this, I like shook it once, like it's on my desk now. And it just stays dissolved. It's nice. What's the song name? It's a great question. I kind of forget. It's called Castaway by Grant. Great song. All right. So the Olympians have chosen Circuit Royale and Eclipse picked defense. Looks like love has shown up. Let me quickly swap them to spectators. Apologize. All right. We're going to be seeing our Sigma comps here. And actually, it looks like we're going to be seeing a dual Farah comp. Swifter is going to come off of the support and head onto DPS. Let's see, and that's gonna put Kazzy actually swapping with them. Kazzy gonna be on support now. Smite's getting that bread. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. But yes, very excited. I feel like we're moving up in the world now. Retrick is gonna be taken out by Puzzle. Looks like Olympians aren't playing the Widow. We usually see Widow on this map almost always. What I'm not used to is double Farah on this map. From what I've heard though, Farah is in a good state right now, so we are expecting to see Farah more, but Valerion's been playing Farah all season. So sure they're loving that. And he he boink is gonna be getting this sig all first. Barely gonna save their tank there. Puzzle gonna get swifters though. They have a couple support alts ready to go. I just realized Skylord is on the Life Weaver. That's a character we don't see a whole lot. Lots of interesting heroes in this Division 1 matchup. I'm going to quickly swap Swifters with Kazzy. One sec. Just so we're in tank DPS support work. <laughs> All four support alts are live. We're also going to have Bob, but just to sus immediately dies to Puzzle. Puzzle with a nice little double kill. Going to find two squishies. Make that three. Open range for Puzzle, and they don't have to worry about an enemy Widowmaker dueling them. So really can do whatever they want. All they have to really worry about is Swifters is on the Tracer now. But Olympians are looking good. Olympians face... I mean, sorry. Eclipse. Eclipse is looking good. Eclipse face Hunters very early in the season, and they didn't have a lot of the players they have now. I am curious if Hunters and Eclipse played now, what kind of match that would be. And here comes the first of those support alts. Looks like we're both going to have a Baptiste all coming out for both teams. Puzzle finding another kill, and Valerion is going to finish off Kazzy. Olympians just having a hard time getting this thing rolling, and they're down to just 40 seconds. This could be a very fast map, too, unless they can get this thing moving. They will find Valerion, which is a big pick. They're going to have sights, though, so they know where these Olympians players are. Lots of alts online for Olympians. Now would be the time to use it. This Vara is respawning. Focused on the tank, and there's that life grip. Seeing a little bit of that life weaver choice. Puzzle just refusing to stop clicking heads here. And they get hit with this Alari. Oh, Looney's gonna try and finish him off. <laughs> a little bit of payback there. And the Olympians still have alts to work with. They have Bob, they have Flux. They'll take out the tank as well. Okay. Last opportunity here on this last fight, and they are at least getting going here. This could have been a very quick map if they weren't able to get this moving, but the real question is if they're gonna be able to get this first point. Doesn't look like Eclipse is gonna be able to touch. They don't really have any stall characters. They will touch, okay. 
Galarian's gonna get deleted there. And here comes the tank coming back, and it looks like someone's probably going to leave. Someone probably lost connection. We'll see who it is. Bad timing for that. Okay, and we'll be right back. I mean, sorry, we are back. <laughs> and at a crucial moment here, Swifters disconnects. They pull back the tank. Not sure if Eclipse given up on this hold right here. It doesn't look like it. And this is a crucial, crucial moment for Olympians. If they lose this, this is gonna be so hard to hold. Just to suss a major kill on Puzzle. That's the Widow down. Larion back on the tracer to stall. Clips really whipping out these stall characters. And they will finish off the tank, which should be enough room to get this in. And they will. So Olympians able to get this first point, which is crucial for them right now. Thank you, Primo Gems098 for the follow. Let me know if I'm saying that wrong, but thanks so much for following. And I missed another one. Dude, how am I missing all these follows? Apologize. I, I hope you don't know how to say this, but thank you to LLLPJVBXXF for the follow. If there's a way to pronounce that, feel free to let me know so I say it right. A couple kills on either side. Eclipse are going to lose their tank, though, which is probably going to force them back a little bit. They're still going to use sights here, though. Trying to stop the Olympians up this hill. This is a hill is a major part of the map to control. But looks like Olympians are gonna keep it moving. But tank back for Eclipse. He squishy's held it well. And now jumping straight on this back line. Has it out for Kazi, it seems. Doing a good job of staying alive, but gonna be taken down, and in the meantime, the other Eclipse players will get some picks. And they'll stop Olympians on the top of the hill. Swifters with Pulse, though. Actually, both Tracers with Pulse. Can someone plug the site to buy jerseys? Yeah, um, I'm trying to remember. In Discord, you can use the command exclamation mark store. I don't remember if I have a command in Switch chat, to be honest with you. <laughs> But yeah, on Discord, you can definitely use exclamation mark store. Skylord gonna get the opener on Kazi, and Olympians getting low on time again. Last time they were low, they were able to get it done. But this might be different. They have to go all the way up the hill. They got a couple tools to work with here. Tank alt and both DPS alts. But just 15 seconds, and they're not exactly close. So it might come down to Swifters to try and stall this out. Swifters not going to be able to touch. They're going to get taken down there. And I don't know if they have anybody to touch. Three Trick going to be a good play here to use Flux to get to the top of the map. But they're going to be immediately taken down, and they might not be able to use their other ultimates here. Bob is going to show up to the party and take out Blakey. Just to Sus with a big double kill. Big triple kill. Sus coming up big, but there's still a big monkey on the payload. Skylord, the only player in the area, but gonna find Just to Sus. We've got a 1v1 on the payload. Swift just has to make sure they touch it. Tracer versus Lucio. Here comes the backup. Here comes 3 Trick on the D.Va. And Skylord is gonna have to concede it, but they might still stop Olympians short of this second point. They're gonna be able to set up another engage here. And they have everybody back. And they have a couple alts of their own here. We use the Winston Primal to take out Kazzy. There goes Just Sus. They're probably going to win this fight here. Skylord double. And once they finish off the tank, they will stop Olympians short of the second point. And they have their win condition for map number two. I'm gonna buy Ragu one and put my name on it because I can. That's so high for side. If you do that, you gotta send a picture of it. That'd be so cool. It says we got time. Initiating match. Here's what it looks like, Riptide. This is the first one I bought. And here's the front view, here's the back view. <laughs> Just so you know what you're getting. I own 
own six right now of the 15. I want to own them all. Why no predictions today? There was a prediction. Right now, Olympians are at 9.4k, and Eclipse was at 7.5k, so 56% on Olympians. We're in for a smooth ride, right? Right? Who'd a man think would do five way, stream street appreciation? Someone call? Welcome to Club Might tweak yours, add your name? Yeah, that'd be cool. On the website, I don't have it to where you can put your name, like, on the website. And the only reason is because, well, I do really like this jersey company. I don't like any of the fonts they have for, like, the names. It's just not my thing, to be honest with you. They have, like, eight fonts, and I didn't like any of them, so... I was like, if people want to add their name, they can. But that's gonna be custom. <laughs> he he boink jumping into the back line, taking a lot of heat early. Almost gets to critical health. Does get down under 100 HP, but still able to get out there. Swifters on the venture. Gonna find a pair. It's an interesting team fight here. Winston just causing so much chaos in the background. Ta-da! <laughs> Swifters swapping again on the DPS, this time on the Hanzo. Every Widow's worst nightmare, at least when I play Widow. No one can hide from my sight. Clips three meters away. I'm gonna find Swifters, it's a big kill. Puzzle kind of thrown into this spot here. They originally weren't one of the starters, it was gonna be Love, but they've done a great job on the starting DPS roll for Eclipse. And Eclipse is gonna get that first point. Pretty good time there. Looney though, being staggered it looks like. To be taken out right before they can get back to their team. So now, this is gonna be tough for Olympians to hold this. And if they don't hold it, they're gonna be going down zero to two. And if that happens, if Olympians lose this match, they're going to be on a losing record for the season. They're going to go down to 1-2 and two with their only win over Phoenix. It's still a match against races to come. But Eclipse just seems to be firing on all cylinders here. They're not even moving the payload. Puzzle going to come back and grab it while they're chasing the remaining Olympians back to their spawn. will find Valerion though, but this is going to be the last possible opportunity for Olympians to stall this. It's still four minutes on the time bank. They might not even touch. It's one meter away. They're not going to be able to touch. That means Eclipse is going to take map number two. So Olympians will choose the third map. Anything except escort or control. And we'll finish the raffle for that one. Winner is going to be Punano Bear. Congrats, Punano Bear, on the 500 tokens. The next 500 token raffle is up. The ball's in Olympian's court here. Can they stop the 3-0? The Division 1 teams... They all wanted to switch to first to three. To be honest, I don't know if that was the right call. We had a vote on it, and they voted unanimously, all five. Clips, Olympians, Thracers, Hunters, and Phoenix all voted yes, but we have not had many maps that have gone to five maps. In fact, we've had zero. So I see, do we get tokens if we buy Rogue Energy? I should add that. But right now, Elena, if you buy any products, if you send me your order number, I will send you card packs. I 
So it tell, it talks about that in the um, there's a card info channel in the Discord. You can check that out, and it'll tell you how you can send your order number to me. That it emails you, and you can get a little bonus in the Discord too. But I can make it add tokens too. I should look into that. I'll keep you I'll keep you updated. It's new, so I haven't got it set up yet. How many card packs though? Yeah, it depends on how much you spend. So basically. Every $5 you spend in the order is equal to one card pack. So if I buy two tubs and my total is like 40 bucks, I would get eight card packs. Love subbing in for Puzzle. Love was originally the starter. Puzzle subbed in for them. And they are going to be hopping in for Eclipse right now. I've already finding a pair to start this one off. The trick gonna be moving over to the Junker Queen, it looks like. It is interesting how much we see Junker Queen on New Junk City. I'm not sure if it's just the map, but it's, it fits the aesthetic quite nice. Yes, that is a good point, Jaren, but you also literally get energy powder and crap. Rose dragging it. I'm not dragging it. They're asking me questions. <laughs> They're asking me questions. Flips in large and in charge of this first control point. I don't believe Olympians have got a kill yet. There we go. Kazi will take out Love, but in the meantime, they're going to lose two teammates. Three trick is going to make it a 3v3, though. But Skylar going to get a double kill on the Lucio. I lured another one of those Lucios I've been seeing in the kill feed a lot. Oh, but gonna get a little too big where their bridge is there. Looney is gonna punish them. I like how many Lucios in this league just go nuts in the kill feed. It's always fun to watch. Gazi, nice reflect kill. Gonna take out Love, but in the meantime, Valerian's gonna get a double kill. Couple kills on either side, but that first flashpoint is over and done with. Ooh, nice play there. But not gonna get away with murder. Gonna avenge their fallen teammate. Converge on the objective. How's it going? Clips getting ever closer to possibly taking this, and if they do, they're gonna be two and one on the season. No, this is Eclipse last match. They'd be three and one on the season. If Eclipse win this, they secure that number two spot, and they will be going to the semifinals. And if that happens, it'll be up to Olympians and Thraces who will be the final team in the playoffs. I didn't actually do the math yet, but that makes sense. Eclipse actually. This is a big deal for them. If they win, they clinch the two seed. Their only loss coming to Hunters. And honestly, that is a rematch I want to see. Clips versus Hunters would be fire. Soothing your wounds. Let the Kitsune guide you. Olympians able to flip it back at 18%, but here comes the ultimates. Just two sus gonna be the first casualty. 4v3 in favor of Eclipse right now. The tank is getting dangerously low, though. And Eclipse are going to be able to flip it back at 40%. Double kill from Blakey there. Nice kunais. Man, those feel good. Getting those kunai headshots on Kiriko. But, I mean, Olympians have a lot of percentage on this point. If they're able to flip this, they'd probably just have to hold it for maybe half a team fight. And they might be able to tie up this Flashpoint series. They're going to invest some resources here, but they're going to lose two players quickly. And this second Flashpoint might be in the books as well. Lips have built up a nice alt economy too that they could use for the third flashpoint. This is gonna be tough. How's it going? Roll up. Uh, 
we were already talking about hunters versus eclipse i mean it's looking that way but keep in mind eclipse is gonna have to face whatever the three seed is if they win this match which it's looking like they're going to that three seed would be one of either races or olympians it's very possible we're gonna have an olympians versus eclipse matchup these teams have faced each other in the playoffs every season so far so it would only make sense that they would face each other in the postseason again the Olympians Eclipse rivalry is one as old as time. Probably the best rivalry we've had in the SOL. It was very back and forth. Eclipse sweeped Olympians in the season one playoffs. Olympians sweeped Eclipse in the season two playoffs. Let's see if Eclipse gets their revenge this season. It's looking like they might get some revenge in this match. Olympians get 25% but are booted off the point. And if Eclipse can hold on to this, they are going to win this one 3-0. We'll see. So my uh, my Ragu, my Guardians players, my Guardians E-Sub might want to get ready. <gasps> Junior, you might not be remembering Season 1 Olympians versus Eclipse. Half the rules in the rulebook were because of that rivalry. <laughs> Lucio has 600 healing. That'd be hilarious. I can't check stats, unfortunately, but I believe it. You don't want to play. <laughs> Under my protection. Reku is scary. And that one probably going to be in the books as it's going to tick down just too sus on the tracer in the area, but I don't even think a tracer is going to be able to touch. So that'll be the end. Eclipse with a great victory there. 3-0. to zero. They have secured the 2 seed, finishing their season 3-1. and one. Their only loss coming to Hunters. And we're going to be seeing them in the semifinals matchup real soon. That means next up it is Ragu versus Guardians.